Hello Libra, welcome back to my channel. Okay, we are doing your next 48. This is episode July 17 and 18 for my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. All right, let's see, what are the messages for Libra, please? Let's see. All right. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. All right, beautiful card to begin with. All right, so yeah, something, okay, something fortuitous is happening for you, period, that, all right? So something is about to shift, though, but I'm getting timing is everything, all right, for this card. All right, we have the Eight of Pentacles. I'm, I'm getting your job, something about your work is about to shift. I'm getting there's something about time, or there's something about your birth chart, or there's something about natal charts, or there's something about, I'm getting, something is going in circles, now, this could be you repeating the same lessons over and over again, or you're getting stuck in a rut when it comes to your job or your position or your money. Like something, it's almost like you're on a fixed income or something is very slow to grow. Okay, eight, let's see. We have the two of swords. Okay. I'm kind of getting your... It's like you're trying to decide when the when the right time is to do something or the right time to act or because the two of swords is it's almost like being impartial. It, it's not making a decision this way or that way. It's being indifferent. So it's almost like this is about to shift. OK, we have the hermit. You could be dealing with the Virgo. We have Virgo showing up here twice in your reading. OK, we have the queen, the uh, king of wands and then we have the magician. Yeah, so I'm getting something is about to shift in your work. You're taking action to change something, but you have to wait for the like the perfect timing. Okay, I'm getting two numerology. I don't know why they just came out of nowhere. Is this something that you're studying, numerology? I'm getting two. You're looking at birth charts. You're looking at your natal chart, other people's natal charts. I'm getting you are interpreting someone's natal chart. I'm getting you're finding out that somebody is a Virgo, maybe rising or moon. Maybe this is you. You're finding out that you are a Virgo. All right, let's see. So I'm getting like you're trying to figure something out about somebody's chart or something out about your own. Because it's almost like you're asking someone, okay, what do I do for work? Is if my if if I have Virgo in this house, what do I do for work? What's my passion? What do I do? You know, what's my career? What's my, you know, so I'm getting you're trying to figure out what to do as far as work goes using your natal chart or using time. Okay, what, let's go around again. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. So yeah, I'm getting something is changing when it comes to your work and when it comes to your money. I'm getting your salary is going to be changing forever. Okay, so you're, I'm getting a raise here. A lot of money is coming in, Ten of Pentacles. I'm getting you're doing something completely on your own by yourself. I'm getting you're growing your money. You're growing your wealth. You're finally seeing, you know, your money starting to grow here or mo your money is changing forever. I'm getting a raise or a shift in your income that is actually good. I'm getting two passive income. Okay, what is the Eight of Pentacles? Because I'm getting you, you, I'm getting you are realizing what your career is or you're doing something as far as your career goes. Or you may, I'm getting you're setting new goals. You're setting new career goals. Okay, yeah, we have the uh, Prince of Cups. All right. Somebody could be helping you deal with this too or giving you a job or promoting you. Okay, Two of Swords. Yeah, we have the Eight of Cups. A lot, two eight. Yeah, 88. Okay, maybe I'm getting you were born in 88 or somebody else was. But I'm getting to, yeah, watch your money, watch your spending. I'm getting you're, you're keeping a very close eye on your money, on your bank accounts. I'm also getting two... Somebody could be watching your bank accounts or looking into your bank statements. Now, this could be you. Maybe you are looking into your bank statements here. Okay, looking at how much money you have spent. I'm getting like you're a little bit disappointed at how much money that you have been spending. Okay. But I'm getting it's coming back around, though. It's like, you know, it's... What is the hermit? What is the hermit, please? Yeah, we have the emperor. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm getting definitely working for yourself. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands. While we have two counterparts here, I'm getting you could be working with a partner. Yeah, we have the Ten of Swords. Interesting. It's like things just keep shifting in your career or things, things keep shifting with this person that you're dealing with. I'm getting someone is very shifty. 
Because this is like someone who's very introverted compared to someone who's very outgoing, the emperor, someone who's in the spotlight. Because I'm getting one minute you're in the dark and one minute, th one minute you are in the light. I'm getting you could be coming out too, coming out of the closet or coming out into the light, showing your face. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting too, like, seeing someone. Yeah, I'm getting like you're showing your face in public or you're making a public appearance somewhere. This, now, this could be a press conference or you're appearing on the news or someone that you know is appearing on the news or appear, appearing on TV. All right, because I'm getting, like, microphones. I'm getting a press conference here or someone is in the press or you're watching the press or this is you. You are, like, it's like, it's like you're showing your face or you're making an appearance. Okay, what's the Ten of Swords, please? What is the Ten of Swords? Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. I'm also getting that like something is in, okay, the star card, yeah. So I'm, so I'm getting like, if you are on TV, I'm getting like you're going from being very modest and being hidden and being behind closed doors to being like out in the public, like boom, here I am, wow. Being very flamboyant, being very confident. I'm getting, because this is like someone who's hiding. I'm getting you hide behind your career or you hide behind your job or you hide behind your money or maybe your family does. But I'm getting like somebody is coming out. I'm getting, I'm getting like you're gonna like when you see somebody for the next when you see somebody for the um when you see somebody again they're gonna be completely different they're gonna look completely different and this is you, okay or someone someone's gonna look completely different than what you saw them before or TV show is changing or your money is changing or you are I'm getting you're coming back to work or you're coming back to your family looking completely different like oh my god I don't even recognize you so this could be cosmetic surgery. You're getting cosmetic surgery. Maybe you're getting something different done to your hair, or you're starting. You're gonna dress different now. Okay, yeah, I'm getting. You're gonna start dressing sexier. Okay, you're gonna start wearing your hair different, different makeup. Okay, because I'm getting like this is what makes money. I'm getting sex sales. Okay, so maybe that's the, um, whatever you do as far as work goes. Sex sales. Okay, show your skin. Buy some sexy clothes. Do your hair different. Dye your hair. Maybe wear your hair bigger. All right, so I'm getting somebody could be suggesting this as well. But I'm getting this is what you're doing is, you know, to grow your career or change something. Because I'm getting like modesty is going out the window here. But I'm getting it's going to make you a star. Okay, maybe somebody maybe somebody was ignoring you. I'm getting that is what's going to, you know, you, you know, sex sells. You look sexy. I'm getting it's going to be very alluring to someone. Yeah, we have the five of wands. I'm getting a lot of, yeah, a lot of trolling. So I'm getting if you are going to come out, it, it's, you're going to get a lot of trolls. People are not going to like what you do or people are going to, there's going to be a lot of competition. But I'm getting like you are going to create a wave. You're going to have a lot of people competing with you or trying to do it like, or do this with you. But I'm getting it's, you know, we have the four, four, uh, four of swords and we have the prince of cup, princess of cups. Yeah. I'm also getting to those people like fighting for your attention, but I'm getting, it's like small. This could be people like wanting you to, I don't know. This, this could be something online. Of course, people want you to comment back. People don't want, people want you to follow them back too. Like, Hey, can you follow me back? Or, you know, or something like that. What's the five of wands? Yeah, we have the sun card. Yeah. I'm getting, I'm getting, if there was competition, whatever this was, you are winning. Okay, you are the you are um you are the winning the winning contender here with the sun card coming out. Yeah, I'm getting like someone is coming out out of the closet. Okay, someone is cha you're you're like changing the way that you dress or the way that you just carry yourself, the clothes that you wear, everything. Your whole your whole disposition is about to change. Or I'm getting like if you're getting back together with someone, you guys are going to be going public with your, someone. You're going public with your. Um, with your relationship, I'm getting a very sexy, hot couple, very attractive two people here, very attractive. And I'm getting that's good for business. <laughs> Shit, that brings in business. Of course, you're going to have a lot of people who are clawing at your attention, but I'm getting this is, I'm getting a power couple, okay? Or, or you're very powerful here. I'm getting two, your beauty is very compelling. Don't stop hiding your beauty, Libra. I'm getting, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting you've been hiding your beauty or. You know, people are like, wow, you're beautiful. I had no idea. Yeah, so I'm getting like, you know, start showing your beauty more. You've been hiding it. Yeah, we have it safe for you to love. It's safe for you to come out. 
Okay, be you, do you, dress how you want to dress. If you want to dress sexy, dress sexy. If you want to wear your hair dark, wear your hair dark. If you want to wear dark makeup, wear dark makeup. Okay, I'm getting you can't go wrong, especially when it comes to your looks or your personality is like very compelling. People are like, wow, you are gorgeous. And I'm getting like it brings money in. People like looking at you. All right, we have new love. Yeah, so it could be someone new in here as well that you just met. I'm getting someone's very attracted to you or you're very attracted to this person. Now, this could be a new job as well, all right? Okay, one more card. But I'm getting it as safe. Okay, it's safe for you to be yourself. Yeah, we have playfulness. Yeah, don't take it so serious. I'm getting, yeah. I'm getting it safe for you to be playful. It's safe for you to be sexy. It's safe for you to be goofy, maybe a little bit even childish. All right, it's safe. Like, I mean, I mean just have fun with it. Don't take it so serious. Because I'm, I'm getting like... You thought about leaving someone or you thought someone was going to leave you or you thought you were going to get left behind because somebody was quiet. Or you thought you may have to walk away from something, but I, I'm getting all you have to do is just kind of change it up and spuce it up a little bit. This could be your look or your job or your career or this relationship. I'm getting, you know, be fun, be playful, all right? Have fun with it. Flirt. Yes. All right. So I hope this helps you. Don't forget to like the video, leave your comments, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.